The function of the firearms, tool marks, and explosives unit is to identify firearms and common tools associated with a crime. Nearly 70% of the unit's work involves firearms, which may explain why the unit is sometimes inaccurately referred to as the ballistics unit. This unit is also responsible for the disarming or detonation of explosives and bombs. All tools, including firearms, have the potential of leaving microscopic markings. Identifying these markings and associating them with a particular weapon or tool is at the heart of the examiner's function. Identification starts by firing several test shots from the evidence weapon into a water-filled recovery tank in order to obtain known samples of the bullet and cartridge. The next step is to compare the known bullets and fired cartridge cases with those taken from the crime scene or the victim. This is done by using a comparative microscope. One bullet or cartridge case remains stationary and the other is rotated to see if any markings match. If a match occurs, then both items are rotated to determine if markings are consistent around the projectile. If available, both the bullet and fired cartridge from the crime scene are examined. If a firearm arrives damaged or does not function properly, the unit maintains an inventory of over 2,000 units of every description that may serve as a source for spare parts. When a probable identification has been made, the opinion of two different examiners must concur in order for that identification to be considered positive. In some cases, the firearms examiner may be called upon to determine how close the firearm was to the victim when fired. Clothing records a distinctive pattern based upon the distance from the discharged weapon. The examiner compares the pattern on the clothing with samples of patterns created from the evidence weapon. This is accomplished using cotton targets. At the unit's in-house firing facility, the targets are placed downrange at specific distances. Using the suspect weapon and, if possible, bullets, a series of test firings are made into the targets. Returning to the examination area, some of the samples are treated with chemicals to determine the plume content, while others are directly compared to the victim's clothing. Several test firings are made at and on either side of the selected distance to ensure accuracy. In circumstances where the weapon is not available to create known samples, identification may still be made through a statewide database known as the Integrated Ballistics Identification System, IBIS. Photo samples of the fired bullet or cartridge case from the crime scene are submitted to the database and a selection of possible candidates is produced. The examiner compares these candidates point by point to determine if a positive match can be established. If no match is produced, the image remains in the database for a possible match sometime in the future. In Michigan, it is a felony to possess a firearm in which a serial number has been removed. Using a variety of chemical solutions, the firearms examiner will often restore the serial number long enough for it to be recorded. When a tool such as a screwdriver, crowbar, or bolt cutter is used in the commission of a crime, that tool may be submitted to the firearms unit for examination. The examiner makes several cuts into a soft test media to establish a series of known marks. These markings are then compared to markings associated with those found at the crime scene to determine if they are made by the same tool. Another responsibility of the unit is to disarm or detonate bombs and explosives. This is performed by personnel at the unit who have been specifically trained for this function. Not all explosives involve criminal conduct. Citizens may find commercial explosives in old sheds or on property and have no ability to dispose of them. But in many cases, the explosive is meant to cause harm or is part of a criminal venture. When called to investigate a potential explosive, a special mobile unit is deployed to the scene. Personnel put on protective gear before approaching a suspected explosive. An initial inspection is made to determine if there is a probability of explosives. Whenever possible, to protect personnel, 
a mobile robotic unit is used to retrieve the questionable package. Remotely operated, the robot grabs the object and takes it to a special bomb disposal container and places it inside the container. The package is removed to a remote area where it can be rendered safe. Weapons and tools are often a part of criminal activity. Using the latest instrumentation and techniques, as well as a broad range of knowledge and experience, the firearms, tool marks, and explosives unit assist law enforcement with accurate identification that link the weapon and its use with a crime.